guys, it's Kara with the bag holder, and you can see us on Facebook under bag holder or order the bag holder at www.thebagholder.net. I'm going to make guacamole in the bag, of course. It's one of the easiest things to do. I've got my bag and I'm going to pop it on my holder. And these are the three colors that the bag holder comes in. This is the green, the blue, and then the smoke. So I've got uh, two avocados. This is super easy guacamole. And um, I've already cut it and popped out the seed. And I'm going to put it right inside the bag. I'll do the same thing with the other one. These are ripe and ready to go. So it's really, really easy to peel. I'm gonna show you here. We're basically just gonna cut it again halfway through and then you can just pop it. The seed is going to just pop out, voila. So again, I'm gonna peel the skin off. Certainly don't want that. And if you have any um, soft spots or brown edges, you can cut around it, but we're good to go. I'm going to put this right in here. Again, the beauty of using the bag holder um, is that we can mash it and feel if it needs some more mixing. But I've got my two avocados and then I'm gonna use salsa and that's why I say this is so easy because salsa has all the ingredients. It has the cilantro, the garlic, the lemon uh, juice, the onions, the peppers, the tomatoes. So I'm using a quarter cup and it's a hefty, heaping quarter cup of salsa. I've got medium because I want a little kick to it and I put a little jalapenos in it. And then I'm just going to add a splash of lemon juice. That's it, just a little smidge. I've already actually taken the onions. This is the second time I've used this, kind of a recycled onion. There we go. And we're done. That is it. That is how fast you can make guacamole. Now I know you're thinking, oh, but you're never going to mix it as well with your hands. You're going to need a mixer or a fork. Well, I am going to show you that is not true. Look, I can mash these. Look how easy it is to mash. I am mashing these. Now, let me take a little air out because I did make a mistake. I didn't get enough air out because it's much easier to mix when there is no air. So you can see, I can walk around, I can talk on the phone, I can do anything. And as you see from me making this, there is no mess. The only thing I have dirty is the knife and the measuring cup. But look, and I'm gonna pipe this right into this bowl in a minute with our snip the tip method. Look how easy, 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 easy this is. This is so simple. And it's fast. And if you have friends coming over, you can make the, our homemade salsa, which you can find a great recipe on the bagholder.net. Um, and then you can make, uh, use that salsa and put it for your guacamole. I mean, it's like a no brainer. It's all done less than 10 minutes. And using a bag holder with the bag allows you for absolutely no cleanup. More time to play, less time to clean. Just always what we want. Now, again, like I tell you, because I can feel it with my hand, actually mashing, I can see where I actually have maybe just a few little lumps left, right there, and I can mash it out, which is actually quite therapeutic. I wouldn't say that this is the um, replacement for mental therapy, a little relaxation therapy, massage therapy. I think that, um, but this is quite fun. Kids love it. If a kid can shake a toy, they can shake a bag. So they're going to be a great help to you in the kitchen. All right, so we are good. I am going to do our snip the tip method, which is so simple. It basically is creating our own piping bag. Watch this, I know, before your eyes. So I'm going to snip the tip. I'm just going to hold it up a little bit. Here we go. Oops, I needed a little bit more. Sorry about that. Look at that. Here we go, we're able to squirt it just like that. Look at that, do you see that? Do you see this yummy guacamole? Here we go, perfect, look at that. All right guys, next time you're in the kitchen, don't be left holding the bag.